Hi, welcome to AP Computer Science. We're looking forward to a great year ahead, and this year we're trying something new. We're going to be starting with something called Greenfoot, uh, which uses an objects first technique of teaching uh, to help develop the concepts of objects and actors and the interactions uh, there between before going on and focusing on all the procedural elements of Java that you uh, learned during Intro to Java and Intermediate Java last year. So let's get started. Start up your Greenfoot. I'll assume that you already have it installed. And then go over to Scenario and go to Open. And you should also have the book scenarios already on your drive somewhere. So navigate to your book scenarios directory. Uh, in there, go to the Chapter 1 and then select the Leaves and Wombats. And you can do Select Folder. You might be prompted to uh, convert the file. If, if you're prompted to do so, go ahead. At this point, you have uh, several elements on the screen. You have what's called your world on the left side. The right side, you have your uh, class diagram, which we'll spend a lot of time talking about. And down below, you have some actions that you can take. So what I would like us to do first is right click on Wombat. And Wombat has a couple different things you can do. Uh, at this point, we're just going to create a new one. So let's do New Wombat, and we'll throw them somewhere into the world. Uh, we can create multiple Wombats, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's create another Wombat, put them there, create another Wombat, and maybe put her down here. So I created three instances of Wombats. Uh, the Wombat on the right side this is a class Wombat. This defines where Wombat is. But then I can create instances of it. And over in the world, I'm putting objects of the type Wombat into my world. So I have three objects of type Wombat. On the right side, we have the class definition of it. We also have a class definition for leaves. So leaves are uh, the food source for Wombat. So let's just throw some of these on there. We'll put this one in front of that Wombat. Throw a couple up here. Uh, put this one far away so he has to walk along the ways, uh, and that's good. Okay, so I have a bunch of leaf objects as well. So I have two object types, or two different classes, a leaf uh, class and a wombat class, and then we created three wombat objects and five leaf objects. Now, an object is not very interesting if it doesn't do anything, so I will go ahead and right-click on one of these wombats. And actually, I'll pause here for just a second. I'll say, uh, pause me and go ahead and do what I just did. So don't just watch the videos. I challenge you to go ahead and try them. So make sure you go open the, uh, the scenario and go ahead and add the wombats and add the leaves and just try to follow along as we go. Pause me whenever you need to. So I just right clicked on wombat and it shows me a different methods that are available. So if we remember from intermediate Java, uh, you have something called inheritance. Well, wombat is a type of actor and an actor is a type of object. So each of these inheritances, or each of these uh, superclasses, provides some functionality. Like the object has certain things. Uh, we, there's toString, which we're familiar with. I'm not sure we've used any of the, oh, we've used dot equals as well uh, in Intermediate Java. And then actor, which is totally new to us, which is part of Greenfoot, there's some uh, functionality there. But let's just look at the functionality of a wombat. Well, there's something called move. So let's go ahead and Right, we'll just go click on move, and voila, the wombat will move. Not terribly exciting, but he can move. Let's have this wombat move as well. So we'll right click on this one and tell him to move. Oh, now he's on top of a leaf, right? Uh, there are other functions. So if we right click on the top wombat again, uh, there we have can move. Uh, let's do found leaf. So if I click found leaf on this one up top, it will say false. So found leaf is a Boolean function. We can see the definition up top. Found leaf returns true or false. Well, in this case, this top wombat is not sitting on top of a leaf, so it'll return false. But uh, this other wombat here, uh, if we do found leaf, it's going to say true because it's sitting on top of a leaf. So check whether there's a leaf in the same cell. If there is, return true. Otherwise, a return false. Since we are sitting on top of a leaf, we could also say wombat, eat the leaf. And voila, the leaf is gone. If I right click on this wombat one more time and I say get leaves eaten, well, he's now eaten one leaf. So now 
get leaves eaten returns how many e's, uh, leaves this wombat has eaten, and indeed it is one. Nothing terribly exciting here, but uh, interesting all the same. Uh, let's call act on this one several times, the one down at the bottom. And so he is now moving to the right. And act has an interesting functionality. If the wombat is sitting on top of a leaf, it will eat him. So in this case, now we're on top of the leaf, and act for the wombat will eat the leaf. If it's not on the leaf, it will move right, and if it, or it'll move forward actually, and if it's, uh, the, if it's way is blocked, it will then turn 90 degrees, so then it can keep walking. So act does not just move, act will either move, it'll eat, or it'll turn. And then finally, uh, we have this uh, wombat up top. Uh, what's called set direction. So set direction we can see by the function signature takes a parameter direction. I don't recall what the different directions are. Uh, it takes a number. So let's just put in two. I don't recall what two does. Maybe they'll face us north. Okay, that faces us west. So let's try again set direction. Uh, I'm going to try one. Watch, we're going to need to go through all of these. Okay, so that's south. Uh, set direction. Three. Perfect. And now if I move, I can go ahead and eventually eat that leaf. Perfect. So, okay, I just want to show you a couple more things. Down at the bottom, there are a couple buttons that we can play with. One is act. Think about what you think act might do. And I will go ahead and hit it. So we'll notice that three things happened at once. The leaf up top disappeared. The wombat over here uh, moved forward one, and this wombat moved forward one. So essentially, what act, when we call it on the bottom of the screen, does is it uh, calls the act method on every single wombat in the world. And indeed, it'll call it on the leaves in the world as well, but the leaves don't do anything. So I just played act again, and now we have two wombats actually on top of each other here. And I can just keep calling this and keep calling it and they will slowly walk around the screen. So now these guys are out of sync because one of them got to eat the leaf and the other one uh, moved. If I hit run, it now just calls act uh, in a loop continuously and since there are no leaves left, all they do is just keep uh, proceeding around the edge of the screen. Uh, you, we can reset and it'll clear the screen and then you could start all over again. So at this point, uh, we'll stop this video I encourage you to play with those few skills that we've seen uh, just to become familiar with how Greenfoot works.